Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. I'm talking with Rohan Martin, who is the Director of Consulting, Strategy and Innovation at AWTG. Rohan, thanks for talking to us. Good to meet you. Uh, good to meet you, Martin. Let's begin like this. Um, your job, Director of Consulting, Strategy and Innovation at AWTG, what does that actually involve? The company exists to, to provide solutions to your clients. How do you interface with them? Well, we have, in today's world, which is rapidly changing, most companies are faced with this concept of creating innovation or change to adapt to the markets. We help companies answer those questions. The consulting part answers the question, what do we need to do? Or how do we effectively do that? The innovation part is try to help them take that vision and idea and transform it into, through rapid prototyping and innovation, to try to give them something that they can start developing along the path to market and help them through those phases to get to market. So Rohan, how does AWTG help your clients to realize their visions? In order to help our clients discover what would be their next, uh, their re-envisioned business processes or services or products, AWTG help them navigate those paths by starting from inception right the way to fruition. We, we help them navigate. We do this by taking on our strengths. Over the last couple of years, we've worked with academic institutions, built partnerships and ecosystems, been involved with a large amount of R&D, as well as building our own capabilities in-house. We've worked with 5G initiatives with the, U with the UK government. We've worked with the 5GIC at the University of Surrey, who are great partners, as well as incorporated. We take those learnings and we start the process by asking them what would be, what is their aim and flesh that out into a workable product. And then we help them create small improvements by either doing feasibility studies or creating rapid prototypes or proof of concepts and then moving that along till it can be moved towards a productized or a service delivery. Rowan, let's talk about the companies that you're working with or are working with you. You mentioned in previous answers uh, councils, uh, the University of Surrey and so on. What do you think your clients, your customers generally want to know? In other words, do they come to you with a defined vision and say, this is what I want and this is what you've got to provide for me? Or is it a prescriptive approach? So do they come along and say, well, I actually don't really know what I want, except I want this to happen? Well, we work with clients that run the full gamut of the spectrum. Some people come in with a very defined vision and an aim. So I would like to increase efficiency by X amount through increasing the equipment effectiveness of my factory. Then we look at, in this, that example, we look at what sensors, what machinery they have and try to work out a, a mechanism to how to deliver that change. The other extreme would be, I am interested in changing my business from what I currently do to something more transformational or to cater to a different class of client that requires massive connectivity. Our clients range from NHS to smart hospital implementations in private, uh, in private institutions as well as agricultural and rural solutions, uh, enterprises as well as manufacturing and retail. Rohan, we've spoken about the technologies and transformation. Which one do you think has had the biggest impact on business to date? For example, there's IoT, there's machine learning, there's AI, there's network transformation, there's cloudification and so on. What's, where's the biggest impact so far? I think at this point, they're all enablers. Each one of them plays a part in what will be delivered in the future. It's, it was not one specific technology that is, like in the previous, in the past, we had the steam engine, we had the internet, we had mobile phones, and they were singular things that changed the way that we would work. With 5G, it's a, like LTE, the name said was long-term evolution. We reached a point where everything's in ev evolution. It's something is becoming in another way. So each one of these play a part in what the, what, uh, what the future solution would be. And that in itself will not be its final form. I think we've reached a point where all industries have to continuously innovate. There is no end point in this where you would draw a line for any CTO or CFO saying, this is my five-year evolution, at that point I'm done. During that process, the technology is changing. The gap of obsolescence is kind of shrinking. We at AWTG try to create bespoke, tailored solutions that would meet 
a very specific client's need and their very specific strategic objectives. Rohan Martin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Martin. It was lovely.